First, there was the tuk-tuk adventures throughout Sri Lanka. Then our journey continued in the Philippines until we sadly separated. But little did I know, something big awaited for both of us after a phone call with Tal. Brandon, contact me ASAP when you hear this. I just had a crazy opportunity to open up for us in Shargao that will allow us to travel together for a little longer. Hey, whatever it is, I'm in. I'll see you in Shargao soon. Brings me to Shargao. So say hello to our new ride, Rusco the Rust Bucket. This is a multi-cab which was generously lent to Tal from his friends. After spending some time painting it up and giving it a few modifications, Rusco is ready to go on an adventure of a lifetime from Chagao Island to Davao City. We don't know what to expect, nor do we know if the multi-cab is even reliable enough to make it. But all we do know is this is going to be one damn crazy journey and we are ready to tackle any obstacles along the way. So let the road trip begin. Right now, guys, this is it. This is where our journey officially begins in good old Rusko. Rusko, the rusty rust bucket. <laughs> so it is currently 10.30 p.m. and we have to board uh, uh, multi-cab on the ferry right now because it's like the best time for tides. But we'll be coming back at like 5, was it 4.30, 5 a.m. in the morning. So we've got all this sorted, but this is literally the beginning of the journey and it is going to be a wild adventure in the head. So we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. First day of the adventure, and we've already resorted to sleeping in the back of the multi cab. Oh, this is gonna be a long trip. Officially back onto the mainland. First disembarkation Woo! of a ferry in the Philippines with our multi cab. Baby, we're in Pinta now! <laughs> Let's do it! Get out of the way! Oh, God. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Thank you. <laughs> we're bigger than you. Let us through. We're bigger than you, we have a kangaroo with a surfboard on us. Okay, so I want to keep you guys updated on the plans right now. So, we're currently in Shogao City. This is where the ferry brought us. Uh, Tal is currently organizing his visa because he, he's going to be staying here for another whole month. He has this, I don't know how long he's going to be driving this for, but he's going to be driving this over the next few weeks. Sadly, I won't be able to join him on the whole trip because I'm going to be stopping in Davao. That's where I'll be leaving to head 
to my next adventure in Vietnam on the 19th of February. So I've got eight days of tail. <laughs> I want to just inform you of some of the challenges and problems we have with this. We have with this good old multi cab. So right here, this is the driver's seat. Right under the driver's seat is the engine. So, this gets very, very hot. It doesn't take much to get this hot. And this right here, this is the radiator. This is one of the most scariest things I'm worried about with this car. Because if this thing overheats, then if that radiator sort of burst open, it's just going to spray all over our legs, which is really not good. So we're pretty much going to have to take it easy with this car. We're not going to drive longer than like a couple hours each stint because if this thing overheats, we're probably just going to get sprayed with a very out of fluid and get some pretty gnarly burns. And also, this dash, this is just for looks. This does nothing. Nothing works on this dash. We have no speedo, we have no temperature gauge, we have no fuel gauge, so we have no way to tell how big, how far we can get on a tank, if we're getting empty or not. We don't even know how big the tank is. Uh, what else? This door handle, that doesn't work. That's just... That's useless. So they're like the main things that are stuffed up with this car that we really need to get fixed. Fuel gauge is a must. We're gonna need to get this fuel gauge fixed. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to wing it and guess every time when we fuel up. So after Tal gets the his like visa sorted, then we're gonna head to um, one of the dealerships around here or one of the mechanics to see if we can get all these problems fixed and hopefully it will be good for the future. And also, just under there that's also the engine and this is another concern we have to deal with is sort out where to put all these bags and try to cover up the bags but yeah now you guys are up to date well, what's happened what's going on and hopefully we can sort it all out now somewhere with the car so they're currently fixing the headlights I didn't end up showing you guys but for some reason these headlights were colored <laughs> like one headlight worked but the other headlight it was just red I don't know why they just had like and sometimes it like flash like red green yellow it's just all different colored headlights I've never seen it before so we're trying to get that fixed and this dashboard that's that's the dashboard at the moment that's what we're dealing with Okay, so after almost about four hours of just messing around and replacing a bunch of parts, we are all most done. So we are just finishing up. Apparently we ended up having a bit of a flat tire. So they had to take that off and it is now currently being patched up across the roads. But yeah, I think it did pretty well. Like they managed to fix a lot of the things we needed to be fixed. So they fixed most of the dash, so the speedo works, and we have a fuel gauge now, so we can tell how much fuel we have. We have a working door handle. They ended up replacing the alternator belt. Um, they ended up fixing the accelerator cable, I think, because the accelerator was really bad. And got new headlights, done an oil change, so overall, I think it should be good. Especially for Tal, because he's gonna be driving this for over the next few weeks. It should get him to the final destination he wants to get to. Like he's gonna be driving for hundreds of kilometers in this thing. So it's best to get all these problems and little issues out of the way now, so it is safe for the future. But now that we're done with this, we are gonna soon head off to get all the other gear we need to get. All right, so this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Is everything actually fixed? What does it feel like, Tal? We are feel good? finally pulling out of the we're mechanic finally. slot. After five hours, it feels so good. <laughs> it took so long. We're free, baby. Yeehoo! Woo! Does it feel good? Oh, it feels great. Feels much better? Every feel, everything feels oiled up. Yeah, that's good. Everything's a little <laughs> looser. It's good. All right, so it all wasn't a waste of time. It all turned out to be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Do the horn again. Do that here, a horn. <laughs> so this is the horn we have around here as well. It sounds like a, like a siren or something. All right, so now to sort out the other stuff.
All right, so this looks like the best option for a storage. So we're just gonna chuck our bags in here. Hopefully, both Tal and I's bag will fit. Look how much it fits. Yeah. Oh, she'll fit. She'll fit. It actually will just fit. Okay, so it seems like this is gonna be one of those things that's gonna need improvements along the way, but in the meantime, this right here to organize our stuff should do the job, so we'll leave it like that. Well, that is it. I am calling it a day there, guys. Whew. It hasn't been the most exciting day. It's just been a day of getting stuff done, getting stuff sorted with this multi-cab. But we, like, we're still just in Churigao City right now. We're just gonna stay here for tonight. But it took longer than expected to get the, like, the mechanic, mechanical stuff sorted, so. And then we just stopped by the shops to grab some food, sort out a few other things, but all is done. And for tomorrow, it's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna head south. Head south and make our way to Devour, but, this is our view, this is where we're staying tonight. I want to point out to you, look at this. Oh, we got two there. We, there was one before, but now there's two. Come on, focus, focus. One roof dog, two roof dog. We got two dogs just chilling on the roof. What are they doing there? I don't know, they're just hanging out. That's it for today there guys. I really hope you enjoyed the first multi-cab mini adventure. Trust me, the next few days is gonna be a little bit more exciting because we've got everything done. But I hope you guys can follow mine and Tal's adventures along the way. So be sure to subscribe, follow your dreams, escape your cover zone, and I'll see you guys on another Rusco multi-cab adventure. Bye.